this is playing out in so many families. And I got to tell you, you know, Donald Trump has blood on his hands and he has my mom's blood on his hands. And he sent us a hospital uh, that's uh, that's right here in the Manhattan Harbor. And no one can get on that hospital. This is something that is just outrageous. It's very tough to mourn under these circumstances. You're, you're angry about that. I think we all are. I mean, the government's supposed to protect our people and we're supposed to be able to protect our parents and grandparents the way they protected us. And we're not able to do that. What we mostly heard was the president. What we saw was a hijacking, a hijacking of the task force press conference by a president determined to rewrite the history of his early and reprehensibly irresponsible response to this virus. What the president showed us today is what the nation's top scientists have to deal with every day. A president who now uses these briefings as a re-election platform, an opportunity to lie, to deflect, to attack, to bully, and cover up his own deadly dismissals of the virus for crucial weeks. When did the president know about this? And what did he know? What did he know and when did he know it? That's for an after action review. But as the president fiddles, people are dying. And we, have to, we just have to take every precaution. Uh, what the president, his uh, denial at the beginning uh, was deadly. His delaying of getting uh, equipment to where it's, it continues, his delaying getting equipment to where it's needed is deadly. We have got thousands and tens of thousands of masks and gloves, and we really appreciate from the federal stockpile. Mm -hmm. We're having soldiers, the 627th from Colorado arrived yesterday to build a hospital for us uh, in CenturyLink Field. So there's some good things happening from the federal government, and we have a lot of gratitude mm -hmm. for everybody involved in that. I said to the president, uh, I put my hand out in partnership. Uh, we've had political differences in the past. Forget about that, and let's work together. The federal government has done a great job of communicating with us. We've had five calls with all of the governors, with the president and, and or vice president, and many of the top leaders. We've we had a request uh, for about 10 different things, most of which they've tried to address. Just to acknowledge uh, the frame of your question, we're involved in over 68 lawsuits with the Trump administration, and so uh, there's no question we have had our differences of opinion on many issues. But I just want to remind you and maybe others that are not aware of this. Um, we've been at this since late January. All I can say is, from my perspective, the relationship has been strong, and I'm not doing it to kiss the ring. I'm not doing it uh, in a way, you know, that I, I'm just being for, forthright with the president. He, he returns calls. He reaches out. Uh, we got that mercy ship down here in Los Angeles. That was directly because he sent it down here. 2,000 uh, medical uh, units came to the state of California, these FMS, these, these field medical stations. Uh, and that's been very, very helpful.